ventilators here. That's the projection. And we have capacity at, at Metro. And I thought, what can we do with that capacity to, to help this situation? Dr. Aaron Brown is a professor and the head of the Department of Mechanical Engineering and Technology at MSU. He and his students are using snorkel masks to help flatten the COVID-19 infection curve. There were 3D printing um, valves that adapt the snorkel mask to be um, kind of an intermediary ventilator, not intubation. Their work was inspired by a project first done in Italy. They're taking those plans and modifying them to fit the materials the students have here in Colorado. And we just started printing them and um, we have about 50 now. Teamwork is the key in this fast paced project. Warren Tech High School, um, their lab, our lab at Metro State, um, and also CCD. All three of us are working together to print as many of these valves as possible. The masks have an airtight seal and provide positive air pressure to help patients breathe. It's patients who come in who are struggling to breathe, if, they, um, if there aren't intubation ventilators available, um, they can use these and that will keep them from declining. Dr. Brown says a typical 3D printer can make about six valves a day. We actually have a really big, one of the biggest printers in Colorado, and we can make 30 in a day. So far, 50 masks are ready. I'm working with uh, Congressman Nagusa's office to help identify which hospitals will be most in need. A need and a possible solution to help in this pandemic. If we can stay positive and use the capacity and the skills that we have together, working together, we can, we can do great things that will make a difference and impact.